So I have some time to kill today um, because my transfer is until 4 p.m. And so um, it's just after nine and I have, um, I have some, yeah, some time to kill. So I have decided that I'm going to go and do a hike and there's a cross, yeah, a cross up here. And that's where I'm going. So all the Google reviews say it should take about an hour and a half. It's quite steep. I'm completely underprepared. I uh, don't have hiking shoes and I'm wearing jeans, but um, I figure it should be fine. <laughs> it's just a, a bit of a hike. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And apparently you get amazing panoramic views over Mestia. Um, I don't think the weather's gonna be good enough to see the major mountains but you know what it's still going to be beautiful nonetheless and it's just something to do for a couple of hours what am i going to do you know besides that um when i come back down there is a museum that i do want to go see uh the museum of i don't know if it's a museum but it's a ethnography ethnography i don't know how to pronounce it but anyway it's something about the people of the Svaneti region so i really want to go and see that um yeah so Let's go and try and find the signposts and get into it. So I've been walking for half an hour straight up <laughs> just straight up um, I know it's gonna be uphill the entire way and that's okay um, I'm wondering now if maybe I should have just caught the chairlift on the other side of the town couldn't have seen the sights over there so it's not that I'm regretting it uh, at the moment I will if I snap an Achilles because the slope is so steep anyway um, I'm getting closer to the cross so that's exciting um, Every time I stop and look around, the sights are just incredible. Um, look, if you're not really into walking and hiking, catch, catch a taxi. A taxi will take you up there or a, or like one of the like tour buses out of here. Um, yeah. But if you like hiking and you've got time to spare, then do it. Uh, although, let me check that I would still say that once I actually get to the top for now half an hour in I'm like yeah this is okay still I'm not dead uh, but <laughs> but I've still got a fair way to go people oh shit the real reason why people don't really film a lot when they're hiking is because it's really bloody hard I'm exhausted that was pretty much straight up I did for about 10-15 minutes go on the wrong trail uh, and then I went back again because the markers were a different color so I was a bit concerned um, because the marker for my trail was blacked out so I thought oh must be that they've changed it so but no Anyway, I'm almost at the top. And, oh, sugar, I keep slipping. It's so steep. I keep slipping. This is crazy. Just crazy.
so I made it to the cross and it took about two and a half hours all up although 15 20 minutes of that was on the wrong trail um yeah so like I said earlier there was a a marker but it had been blacked out and um and it was at a diverging point so there were two ways you could go I went one way and then I noticed that the uh markers started being a different color so I thought no I'll go back and I ran into some people and they're like no that's the right way so um yeah uh the other way was much nicer it was undulating whereas the the one to get up here was just straight up it was it wasn't I'm not going to say that it wasn't pleasant. Um, I think that's too strong. But I'm glad it's finished, the uphill part. I've still got to get down. <laughs> There's only one way to get down, and that's using my feet, unfortunately. Uh, my Achilles was not impressed. It was so steep in some points where I was standing there, and um, I started sliding backwards. So, yeah, really steep. But... Um, the views are stunning. It's a panoramic view. Like, there is just snow-capped mountains the entire way around. It's just a shame um, that the weather's not uh, great. Although it's not bad, it's just not blue. So the contrast is a lot less. Um, all right, I might, I might make my way down now. Um, I'm contemplated, contemplating just going by the road via the road because um there's a lot of leaf litter obviously this time of year there's a lot of leaves falling from the tree and a lot of loose rocks so I don't know I just don't feel like hurting myself <sighs> anyway I'll decide when I'm halfway down <laughs> so far I am walking down the road and I figured yeah it it might it might not even take me that much longer because I would have to be going down that steep section so slowly and so carefully that it's probably going to take me the same amount of time even though this way is longer because it's not as steep so it's you know back and forth so I'm actually really happy with my decision I am still getting the most incredible views. Like, it's just, everything is just beautiful. And, sorry, camera really doesn't do it justice at the moment. And, um, yeah, and I thought if it did rain, it's starting to sprinkle now, if it did rain, then that makes this way um, less dangerous as well. So, look, I do take risks, but I generally like to take calculated risks. So, um, yeah, I just didn't think going back down that path was the right thing for me to do. And that's cool, because, yeah, luckily there's an alternative way. It's just a shame there was, you know, no taxis that I could call from the top to take me down instead. Because, you know what, I totally would have. I would not have been walking at all if, uh, if I could get a car come and pick me up. <laughs> an hour to get down off the mountain and I'm almost there I've just got you know, 100 meters to go but it's relatively flat now to be honest if you enjoy hiking do this hike if you are on the bridge uh, bridge on the fence with hiking and you just you know yeah it's all right like you know the times you've done it oh, dirty. 
um, the times you've done it, you enjoyed it, but it's not something that you think about doing, don't do it. Just don't, because it's really, it wasn't that fun. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I like hiking. So for me, I think if the, if the weather had been better, it just absolutely would have blown my mind and I would have said, yep, do it. But now I'm saying, do it if you want. Otherwise, lots of cafes you can go and find uh, in town and you can sit down with a book and, and, you know, have a cuppa while the other person in your life or whoever you're with might want to go and do the hike. Leave them to it. You don't have to do it. Um, now, I am going to walk over to uh, the Cervanti, um History Museum and Ethnography. Uh, so, yeah, that's next on my agenda. It's a few k's away. I think it's about three k's from here. I'm not that far out of town, to be honest. Um, and it really, it took me, it took me an hour to get down, but it would have taken me an hour to get down anyway, although I would have been much closer. So it really only took me a little bit extra and it felt much more comfortable um, coming down the road than what it did, would have going, you know, straight down rocks. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy with my choice. All right. The, yeah, into the city, well, town. Now, I'm not saying I'm particularly lucky, uh, but when I started walking, I walked about, I don't know, 100 or 200 meters, when a guy come past in a, uh, just like a, a ute, and um, asked if I wanted a lift and <laughs> yes oh my goodness it saved me walking like two and a half kilometers into town so I just he was so lovely wouldn't accept a dollar like no, no I wasn't gonna give him a dollar wouldn't accept any money um, just yeah amazing timing amazing luck and I will forever be grateful for the stranger who just gave me a lift into town Okay, lunch review and I had a massive hankering for a burger as soon as I saw it on the menu so I was just so happy that they had it and um, I don't know I think it was chicken maybe I don't know what it was it was so succulent it was so juicy it was so delicious um, it, at this point you know it feels like the best burger I've ever had I don't know what it isn't but you know feels that way um anyway so now i'm heading over to the museum i think i'm going the right way it's not like there's a lot of streets here you can't really get lost but yeah heading over to the museum and i'm really looking forward to that i've got about an hour and a half until the um until the bus uh bus car van i'm not quite sure what it is but until the transfer back to katasi so <clears throat> i don't have a lot of time um, but it should just be enough. So I'm in the um, Spinetti Museum and it's fantastic. Like it's just, it's amazing. Um, and so it was 20 lari to get in and uh, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's set out really well. It's got some great information. Um, one of the things that I did, I, I did like, kind of hear about, but I wasn't really sure what it was, was um, the story of the Golden Fleece. Now, I'm still not entirely sure about the whole Golden Fleece thing, but what it says is that the um, Svan people did perfect, well, pr oh, preserve, sorry, preserve the technique of um, looking for gold using sheepskins, which is where they think that the whole mythical uh, golden fleece has come from. So, super interesting. There's, it's great. It's a great little museum. I'm really enjoying it. Thank you. 
is the Cervantes Museum. Um, yeah, it was a great little museum. I guess for me, uh, the one thing that it lacked is more information on the things that draw people here, which are the defensive towers. Right, so, you know, there are, they are a, um, a UNESCO World Heritage, um, uh, not site, I mean, the whole area is like a UNESCO World Heritage thing uh, site, but um, specifically because of these um, defensive towers. So I would have, I wanted more information on, on, on what they are, why they're here, what purpose did they serve, um, you know, it just it, it, what purpose they're still continuing to serve, that type of thing. So I think for me, it was fantastic, uh, but it just, it fell a little short in that there was just some things that I really, really wanted to know more about um, and that just wasn't there, that wasn't provided. But it is an awesome building and it has some great, some really great exhibitions and yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Um, and now I'm going to make my way to the meeting point and that there in finishes or concludes this part of my trip. I've got one more day and that day will be in Katesi before I fly out in the evening. So yeah, I can't believe that this trip's almost been a gone. It's crazy, crazy. One thing that I didn't get to do, unfortunately, is come and see uh, the movie. There is a movie that is um, from this uh, Ushkoli uh, area. And there's a cinema there as well that you can watch it at. And um, yeah, it's, it's just it's a local movie and um yeah i'm kind of sad i didn't get to see it but if you're in mestia or ushkali and you got some time because you haven't gone on a ridiculous hike then you might want to check the movie out <laughs>